My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May the name of the Lord be glorified. On this day, March 22nd, it is a great pleasure to meet you all at home early in the morning through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you all. Turn with me to the book of 1 Peter 5 7, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. My dear brothers and sisters, for those of you who think that there is no one to care for you, well, whether there is someone to care for you or not, the Lord cares for you. He who cares will not leave you just like that. God will take immediate action. Because a worldly person might inquire about your welfare, and when you say about your debts, they will say, oh, how sad this shouldn't have happened to you. And they would go on their way. Or he would say, I want to help you. But I am not able to do it. So if a man inquires about your problem, he will ask you, are you in debt? And then he will say, this should not have happened to you. But if God inquires about you, there will be a miracle in that situation in your life. If you read the Bible, you would come to know how God inquired about a woman called Hagar in the wilderness. She and her son Ishmael were fighting between life and death because of severe thirst in the wilderness. God inquired of Hagar, saying, What happened to you? What is your problem? The moment he came to know that she and her son were suffering. So today, God is inquiring about your troubles. He is going to search and find out what your problems are and he is going to perform a miracle for you. He has promised, cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. So today, just as God inquired about Hagar as to what happened to her and why she left her house and wandered in the wilderness, God is going to inquire about each one of you. He is going to search and find out what your problems are, and he is going to perform a miracle for you. Dear Lord, we thank you. Lord, we are very comforted when we know that you are a God who cares for us. And we are so happy that we can cast all our burdens upon you. We thank you, Lord. Let all the children who are watching this program cast all their burdens and troubles upon your feet, and may they be relieved that God cares for them. And he will surely perform a miracle for them in their lives. Lord, whatever miracle they are in need of, I pray that you will do miracles and let them be joyful in their lives. Lord, let all their failures be turned into victories. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I greet and bless you all, my dearly cherished brothers and sisters in Christ. May God be praised for his name. It is a tremendous joy to meet you all at your homes early this morning on this auspicious March 22nd message. God's blessings be upon you all. Please turn to 1 Peter 5 7, which says, Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Greetings, darling siblings. For those of you who believe that no one can look out for you, know that the Lord looks out for you regardless of whether someone else does. A kind person will never go away that's just how you like it. God will act right away. Someone from the outside world may ask how you're doing, and when you tell them about your debts, they'll probably say something like, oh, how sad this shouldn't have happened to you. They would then continue on their route. Or he might respond, I'd like to assist you. Yet I'm not capable of doing it. Therefore, if a man asks you about a problem, he'll ask, are you in debt? Then he will respond, this shouldn't have happened to you. After that. Nevertheless, there will be a miracle in your life if God asks about you. If you were to read the Bible, you would learn of God's inquiry into a woman named Hagar in the back country. She was so thirsty in the woods that she and her son, Ishmael, were struggling for their lives. Hagar was asked by God, what happened to you? What issue do you have? The instant he learned that she and her son were in pain, God is therefore asking you about your problems today. He will look into it and determine what your issues are, and he will work a miracle for you. Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you, is what he has promised. God will thus question every one of you today, just as he did with Hagar, asking why she left her home and roamed in the wilderness and what happened to her. 
He will look into it and determine what your issues are, and he will work a miracle for you. We are grateful to you, Lord. Knowing that you are a caring God gives us great peace, Lord. And we're overjoyed. So that you will bear all of our burdens. Lord, we are grateful. Allow every child viewing this show to lay all their worries and concerns at your feet, and may they find comfort in the knowledge that God is looking over them. He will undoubtedly work a miracle in their lives. Lord, please do whatever miracles they require so that they might have happy, wonderful lives. Lord, please grant them success in spite of all of their setbacks. We ask in the name of Jesus. Indeed.